Hello, this is uh, lesson two, absorption and the translocation of water and mineral source. It's of grade for grade seven. At the end of this video, you will be able to recognize the parts responsible for the absorption of the water and mineral source from the soil. Let's start as usual with remembering and recalling what we took before as information about plants. Let's recall. We took that we have green plants or chlorophyll plants and they have many parts. We have the flower, leaves, stem and the roots. And also we took that flowers or green plants, they have three essential parts. The first part is the roots and we are starting from down. The roots here, they are the underground parts. They absorb water and minerals from the soil. Second, we have the stem, which is the long part of the plant. It transports food, water, and minerals throughout the plant's parts. Then we have the leaves, these green leaves. They are the site of photosynthesis. They are the place where the plant make their own food. And finally, we have the flower which is the organ of reproduction that later on will give us the seeds. Let's start. In this picture, we have a tomato plant and we dipped the tomato plant and the roots of this plant in a nutritive solution. Yeah, جبت the tomato plant, we put it in the soil, we put it in the container, and in this container, as you see, we put it in a nutritive solution. So a tomato plant was cultured in container containing a nutritive solution. the nutritive solution? It's made up of water and mineral salts. This solution is called the crude sap. So the water with mineral salts in the essential needs of the chlorophyllic plants, as we took before in lesson one, they have a special name or a scientific name. This scientific name, we call it the crude sap. The roots are only dipped in this solution. As you can see here, yani if we close this cover, all of these roots, they will be dipped in the crude sap without the stem, without the leaves, only the roots. In these two pictures, this is the root. And under a magnifier, or by using a magnifier, we saw that roots, they are made up of hair. So roots, it's not only uh, one part. لا, هي one main part ومنا طالع branches يلي هن الهيرس. Okay? هل, the first question, pick out the components of the nutritive solution. طبعا أنا هون عطايتكم السؤال بشكل نص. إنه uh, telling you إنه we have tomato plant وإنه this tomato plant هي was placed the container. هذا container it has Nutritive solution, a nutritive solution made up of water or mineral salts. This solution is called root sap. Well, the roots are only dipped in the solution. So I'll we pick out the components of the nutritive solution. As usual, pick out from the paragraph. So if we read again the paragraph, we can know that the nutritive solution is made up of water and mineral salts. So this is the answer as it is, we copy it from the paragraph. The second question, pick out, come in, let's pick out the name of the nutritive solution. What do we call the nutritive solution that contains water and mineral salts? It is called crude sap. Okay, so all of the answers, they are in the paragraph. Only we have to do is to copy them. Let's move now. To the second part. Let's see. To verify the role of root hairs, if we saw uh, roots under a magnifier, we can see that it has many hairs. In this experiment, we are studying, uh, we want to know the role of the root hair. Why do roots have hair? So we did this experiment. After uh, making this experiment, as you can see from the picture here, and we have plant, our flower, we dipped, we have three tubes. In the first tube, 
we uh, dip the flower we dip the roots hair in the water okay and in the second tube we dip the root hair in the oil in the third tube we dip the root hairs in water and we fold the last part of the root last part of the root we call it roots cap هيدي اللي تحت اللي هي it does not have any hair بنسميها roots cap اوكي سو انا عملت ثلاثه تيوبس باول تيوب حطيت فيه الروت هير مع الروت كاب يعني كل الروتس حطيتهم بقلب الووتر بثاني تيوب لا رفعت الهير الروت هير لفوق على الاويل وخليت بس الروتس كاب يعني خليت اللاست بارت هي بالووتر وبثالث تيوب عملت فولدينج طويت الروتس بشكل انه الروت هير they are in the water and the last part of the root هو only in the oil and I wait for six hours and then I record the results in plant one and the three yeah, the plant in tube one in tube three they survive they stay alive while in plant in tube two the plant withered as you can see the blip let's start with the first question pick out the objective why we made this experiment it's from the first line to verify the role of root hair okay the second question we still with the same experiment now the second question is analyze the obtained results results document paragraph we have to analyze them Let's start. Analyze it means we will write our observation and we will relate them to the condition that we have. In tube one and the three, tube one and the tube three, the roots hair were dipped in water. After six hours, plant one and the plant three, they survived. However, we can use why. In tube two, where the root hairs were dipped in oil يعني بالتيوب تو لما انا حطيت الروت هير بالاويل the plant withered this is the analysis of this document I only recorded I only wrote what I see in the document the question draw out a conclusion concerning the role of the root hairs what do you conclude about the role of root hairs? What do they do? Taban, we can conclude that the root hairs, they are responsible for the absorption of water and mineral salts. Bima inu bila tube 1 and bila tube 3, lamma kenu root hairs in water, they survive. So they are the parts responsible for the absorption of water and mineral salts.